Let's go ahead and open an existing project. If you go to your Projects Manager application, you can simply select a project from the list, choose the Open button. You can also double click the project that you wish to open, and it will remove the Projects Manager from view by default and present to you the documents that are part of the project. You can navigate by double clicking or right clicking on any option in choosing Open or Preview. A preview is a full interactive preview where you can zoom and pan around your drawing. Double clicking it will go ahead and open it for editing, or right clicking and choosing open is another option. You can open up all of the submenus inside your document browser by clicking the top of the browser and hitting the star key on your keyboard. A simple way of getting access to all of your documents without having to drill down into each folder. Now, if you wish to open a project that's not currently in your Active Projects Manager, let's show you how to unarchive a project. Go ahead and close this project here. So I'm going to go back to the Projects Manager, and you'll notice that I have just two projects in this list. But I know I have a project that's already been worked on on another system, and I want to bring it into the Active Database. Here, you can choose to unarchive a project. I can also unarchive it and open it at the same time. But in this case, I'll just simply choose Unarchive and navigate to where the project archive is. So as you can see here, I have a project archive file called projectx.proj.tewzip. Essentially, an archive file is a huge zip file of everything the project needs. The manufacturing data, SolidWorks mechanical data, the symbols. You can even right-click on this and view it in any WinZip or WinRAR application. I'm going to use Enterprise PDM's built-in file viewer to look at the contents of this zip file. But as you can see, it's got every symbol that I'm using. The symbols are just native DWG files. It has the required databases and all of the drawings and 3D parts that the system needs, as well as a bunch of XML files. And this is how the system tells the 3D mechanical design how to connect. So if I want to open that and add it to my active project list, I'll just simply open it. It will give me the default information for the name of the project, which I could change at this point in time, but I'm not going to. There's already a Bolter 77, so let me just call this Bolter 78. And it will extract the contents of this project and add it to my active server database that everybody in the company would have access to. Once it's unarchived, you will have the option of opening it. Before we open it, however, we get this menu option asking us if we want to merge the library elements. Remember, when we looked at the contents of that zip archive, it contained lots of information. Some of that might actually be duplicate information as well. Let me look at the update data option, and it will walk us through a wizard to compare what we have in this project versus what's already in the database. And it sees the contents of the zip file and the quantity of each item. And if I hit the next button, I can see you know, what's different between the original database and this new archive that I'm bringing in. You can see that there are color codes. Anything in red was supplied with the software. Anything that's green was a user-created option. And blue was supplied by the software and modified by the user. You also see an action menu here where you can do nothing because it sees that the database objects are identical. You can create a duplicate object by keeping both or replace this object that I have in my unarchive project and replace the database object. In this case, I want to do nothing because they're identical. And you can walk through each of the items to check for that. And once you're done, you can hit finish. And this is really a nice way to make sure that you don't have duplicate data. And if you share data with other people that are not connected to your database, they're not gonna be missing anything. Finally, it'll ask us if we want to open the project, and we'll go ahead and do that, and I can see the contents of the project. If I want to close a project, I can right-click on the project here and close the project.